became a new position for Muhammad. Whereas at one point he was a prophet, merely the conduit of God's words flowing through him, in Medina he becomes a leader. His community of Muslims is part of that leadership, but also he is understood to have then an authority over the entire oasis of Medina. In Medina, the Prophet continued to offer up revelations to his followers. But the nature of these messages was noticeably different. According to Muslims, the verses now reflected Muhammad's leadership status and added a new element to the message, a practical guide to creating and ruling a society. The verses are basically about a society that needs regulation. And therefore, the most striking thing about the Medinan period is the laws, or practically all of the legislation that the Quran includes, comes from the Medina period. The revelations traditionally associated with Medina laid the foundation for Islamic law. They included rules on nearly all aspects of life, from prohibiting alcohol to allowing mothers to nurse for up to two full years. The verses provided guidelines for inheritance gave new rights to the dispossessed, like orphans and slaves, and set new rules elevating the status of women in society. But the meaning of some of these laws was not always clear, and many are still debated to this day. A prime example? Does the Quran allow polygamy? Chapter 4, verse 3. Marry those women who are lawful for you, up to two, three, or four. But if you fear you...